Hey, what's going on everyone? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get your own 1.16.1 server for Spigot up and running on your Minecraft host, or you can even run this on your own PC. I'm going to show you guys how to update to the netherworld as well as just get the new .jar. So let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, you want to come to serverjars.com. This link will be down in the description. This is where you can find your latest builds of, uh, you know, paper or bucket or Spigot. Uh, I do recommend using spigot um over bucket just because spigot is more customizable and then when paper does come out with the 1.16.1 version i do recommend switching to that but for this instance uh, it is not currently updated so let's go ahead and download the 1.16.1 spigot quickly show you guys how to make it on your own pc if you just want to test it out for yourself so go ahead and just make a folder on your desktop somewhere where you can easily access it and then you want to place that spigot 1.16.1 jar in that folder and then open it up and then and we're going to head and make a new text document and so I'm going to be using notepad plus plus you can use normal notepad with this as well so go ahead and just open that up so in here you're going to be pasting some Java startup uh, code to get your server running so basically what I'm going to be doing I'm just going to head and paste it just to make this simpler for you guys but basically what this is doing is it is saying Java here is your max amount of uh, RAM, which is the XMX, and then here is your minimum around RAM. So if you want to get a little bit more, say you want to run at three gigs, uh, so that would be good. And then here is your minimum startup, which is one gig. Then at the very last, there is just server.jar, and there's a lot more customization that you can do with these startups, but this is just going to be a simplistic one uh, to get you guys started up. So anyways, that is what it's going to be looking as. And then now, very important, you need to save as, and then I'm just going to call this uh, run.bat and make sure you're saving it as all types all right so go ahead and just save that and then now so in our startup parameters it is looking for something called server.jar and so that is what we need to rename this right here so I'm just going to ahead and rename it to a server and uh, it is already a jar executable file so you don't really need to worry about that but make sure whatever name is here uh, it is named in your server so make sure you double check that and then once that is all good just go ahead and click run now we should get this uh, startup parameter and there we go as you see it is starting to load but it, we do need to accept the EULA so I'm just going to set that to true save that and then we can go ahead and run the server back up again and then there we go as you see it is starting up so we just have to wait for the libraries to load and there we go guys look at that it is loading the recipe and there we go we are running the 1.16.1 spigot and there we go as you see it does say done so now we can actually go ahead and connect to it and your server address is just going to be localhost so go ahead and connect to that and there we go we have connected and then we can go ahead and run the command op and then your IGN or in-game name and we'll go ahead and make you an operator of your server and so there we go now we are opt and we can do the fancy 1.16 game switcher and we can go into creative mode and there we go guys we are now in creative mode have all the fancy new blocks uh, so that is pretty cool I really like this game mode at switcher where you can switch different game modes but anyways so that is how you get your 1.16 in a server on your home PC and now I'm going to show you guys how to update your netherworld. Be sure to check out this video's sponsor, Sangata. Sangata is a new and unique marketplace where you can find free or paid custom plugins. With the help of continuous user and developer feedback, Sangata is continuously working towards making those ideas a reality. Visit the Sangata marketplace and discord with the links below come over to our server so now as you see we are actually running the 1.15.2 uh, currently and so to go ahead and switch it just stop your server go to your file management and you can do one of two things it should be in your version selector if you come down here where it does say spigot latest auto updater that will go ahead and actually update it to the very latest builds whatever are released uh, but since we already downloaded the spigot 1.16.1 I'll just go ahead and drag and drop it and then it will start to upload and if you guys need a minecraft host be sure you check out revive node there's a dollar per gigabyte that we offer and you can also use my code striker to get 15 percent off that purchase so make sure you guys check out the link down in the description if you guys want to have your own public 1.16.1 server i definitely recommend that you guys checking them out 
So now if you guys are updating from 1.15, I'm actually going to rename this server.jar because that is what my host is actually looking for to run. So all you really need to do is make sure your server is stopped and just go ahead and delete the world underscore nether and that will just delete your previous world. And then you can go ahead and actually start up on 1.16.1 and uh, we can go ahead and start this bad boy up and there we go guys. So once it is actually starting to load, it will go ahead and generate if we look right here, here is your Minecraft Nether and it has uh, generated the new one. So let's go ahead and game and test it out real quick. Alrighty, we are on the 1.16.1 on Revive node. I actually went installed um, Essentials, so we can go ahead and quick travel to the Nether real quick. And there we go, guys. We are in the new Nether, just like that. It looks pretty cool. I, I definitely like these new forests, and there's a lot more to explore within this. I really like these particle here as well. But anyways, that is how to make and update your 1.16.1 servers. If you have any questions down below, be sure to leave them down in the comments. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Peace.